It's Thanksgiving week. Time to roast that turkey. What? You don't know how? Well, never fear. Jim is here. Welcome to Help at Home, your resource for great recipes and easy learning. I'm Jim Hightower. It's time to roast Big Bertha here. And actually, I usually like to get a 22 pound turkey, so I have lots to fry and share with both sides of my family. However, this year, Big Bertha was only 16.78 pounds in all her glory. And I'm going to teach you what I like to call the two-based method. You may have heard it as one-based, but in my opinion, it really is a two-based method. It's the easiest way to go, whether you're an experienced turkey roaster or this is your first time. So, what you really need to have, aside from a good trash can close by, is... You need the roasting pan uh, from out of your oven equipment. Now, before you put it on there, you could spray it. I'm just going to give it a quick little butter, butter base. And if this wasn't full of juices, as it is, I would tell you to put maybe a cup or cup and a half of water in here just to keep the oven moist. Hot, steamy air. But, um, here I go. And in, in my zest to show things, I hope I don't just show a mess. But no, look, there's my juices draining straight down into my roasting pan below and that's perfect what I need is something to set that in then I'll uh, ooh, a little overzealous but okay then carefully cut away the wrapper, the bag that's on your turkey. Now, after I get this done, I'm going to talk about prep. I just wanted you to see everything. Now, let's talk about prep, which includes some nice paper towels. Okay. On the back of your package, it gives you important information for thawing. Now, my turkey was almost 17 pounds, and it says estimated thawing and roasting times. Refrigerator thawing time. It's highly, highly recommended, and for safety reasons, that you thaw this in the refrigerator, not just sitting out at room temperature. And it says four to five days in the refrigerator. That's four to five. Now, I have not had the best luck with estimated times. Uh, estimated days, actually. It's always taken a little bit more, but we have an extra refrigerator in our garage and I just turned it warmer a little bit and it was ready in about three days. Then it talks about roasting time. It says three to three and three fourths hours roasting time. But we're going to keep that in the back of our mind as we talk about this two-based method. Now, you've got this. I guess I'll turn it around here. This plastic thing holding your legs and 
uh, things together and yeah, it's stuck inside and you've got to give it a, a careful pull because this is one of those things where you, you have to squeeze that. You don't want wah all over your kitchen because raw meat juice, right? Okay, now I bring my bowl here so I can get the goodies out. We have the neck and uh, I guess the bag of treasures is up front. Also, it was recommended, I think by Julia, that you put a fourth of a stick of butter inside the cavity for flavor. So I did. And I'll turn this around. And right up here um, is your bag with your liver, gizzard, heart, uh, anything else there. And that's got it. Now, this is your plastic button that pops up and says it's done. I don't follow that. And a year's video ago, or maybe two years, I talked about why. I've got to wash. One of the first things that you want to do in having a beautiful turkey is to baste it with melted butter. <laughs> Julia Child would take soft butter and give it what she called a, a butter massage. But I don't care to get quite that involved with my poultry. So, uh, anyway, this will give it that beautiful brown and crackling skin that everybody looks for and I might say judges you for. So just put it all over. Okay. There you go. Next. Um, I will talk about um, how to brine a uh, wet brine or dry brine a turkey. Um, some notes from my cookbook. Okay, if you want to dry brine your turkey, which means it's just going to be salt and um, a couple of bay leaves and a tablespoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of salt per pound, and you just massage it all over. You can set it in a bucket or utility bucket even a nice, clean, brand new mop bucket that you could go get at Home Depot. Set in your refrigerator 24 hours, boom, you're done. If you get a recipe online for a wet brine, then you're cooking your salt in all this water. You're putting your turkey in the bucket, pouring it over it, and dealing with that mess, which dry brine's just as easy. Now, you need to preheat your oven to 450 degrees. This is our first baste, which, I mean, you just have to do that if that counts as one. So we'll call it one. You're going to put it in the oven, 450 degrees, for 30 minutes as it is. That will get the browning started. At 30 minutes, you're going to turn it down to 350. Yes. And then we'll cover it with a little foil tent, like you went camping. And that will keep the breast or the legs from over browning and getting dry. So why do I call this the two based method? When I turn it down at 30 minutes, I take it out, baste it one more time before I put the foil tent on there. So into the oven she goes, set your timer. Whoopsie, did you miss me? Well, here's the deal. I didn't have time to try brine my turkey this year. So I'm going to put on this Grillmates Smokehouse Maple Seasoning. And it'll stick to the butter. And it's just beautiful and delicious. 
And I don't care if I make a little mess over here on my block, because it's worth it. Now into your oven, 450 degrees, 30 minutes, set your timer. This thing is heavy. Whew. You can see this is nice and browned already, and I have my butter. And I'm just going to base this right on top again or all over right. have to rotate this and don't forget this is very very hot pouring more butter all over. Now a piece of foil and I'm just going to base a little butter on top to keep it from sticking and let's see. I don't think that's too much. Then, this just needs to go back into your oven, which is now set to 350 degrees, and we estimate 15 minutes per pound at 350. Now, it'll be less than that because we're not going to be opening and closing the door all the time basting. Truthfully, what you want to do is to use the 15 minute per pound as a guide but like I said, since we won't be opening and closing this, basting all the time, it will be shorter. What you need to do is take your instant read meat thermometer and stick it in there. It says 81 degrees. It is not cooked until it says at least 165 degrees. So, into the oven, use your 15 minute rule. I would take off at least an hour and check it then. So I'm gonna let this go for two hours and then I'll check the temperature and we'll be back. Set your timer based on the weight of your turkey. Here is my turkey. After the 30 minutes at 450 and two hours uh, at 350. And we're going to check the temperature here. Now that says 182. One eighty one eighty six one seventy nine. I'm going to call that done and you can see the little popper popped up saying that it was done. Look how easy this was. We basted twice. And if you wanted to be lazy, you could have basted just the once. And here's what it looks like on that side, obviously. And here's what it looks like on this side. And now, you just need to let it cool for, I would say, an hour, maybe an hour and a half to two hours. You can check it with your thermometer. Um, at this point, if you cut it, the juices will come out and 
uh, your meter is less likely to remain tender. But at this point, if you let it cool and let the juices go back inside, and we talked about that, I think, in the original video uh, that I did a couple of years ago, but you want to let the juices go back in and it'll be delicious and tender. And then, of course, you've got your crispy skin there. You hear the tap. Nice and crunchy. I decided I just have to cheat a little bit. I'm going to cut a small piece over here that won't ooh, won't show in our, ooh, our shots. And include that skin. Ooh, nice and steamy. It takes a minute more <laughs> to chew some meat than it does the bread that I'm normally making. And then here's a crispy skin. And I put that seasoning over it. Mmm, that's great. So, two and a half hours cook time instead of three and three fourths. How do you like that? I like it a lot. And it gives you time to do other things on Thanksgiving like make your cakes, cookies, and pies, or just spend time with your family. If you like this recipe of how to roast a turkey using the two-based method, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and share with your friends who like to cook or just want to learn how. Drop me a line in the comments below about your experience using this method and what else you might like to see in the kitchen. Click the bell in the top right hand corner for notifications. I'm Jim Hightower and remember, everyone needs help, even me. Be well and enjoy this happy Thanksgiving with your family and friends. Whoopsie, did you miss me? Well, here's the deal. <laughs> Let's see, 15 minutes per pound, I think I figured it was three and a half on the package. Edit. Let's see. Set your timer based on the weight of your chicken. Ah, turkey. So if you like this recipe of how to...